And welcome back. Well, My Home, Your Home's annual fundraiser supports five local programs that serve Milwaukee County. This year's uh, our, our Milwaukee community and this year's event, Heart in a Handbag, features Lisey's Place, a transitional housing program for women without children ages 17 to 29. And here to chat with us about how you can attend and how our favorite 620 WTMJ4 News Radio guy, Gene Miller, is involved as well is Carolyn Singleton, uh, Singleton Martin, and maybe Roberson. Thanks for being here, ladies. Thank you for Thank having you. us. I think this is a great event. People love and look forward to it. It's your fourth annual. Talk a little bit about what Heart and Handbag is going to be all about this year. Well, this year's fundraiser, we just wanted to lighten up the theme a little bit. Previously, it was keeping the dream alive, which, of course, we want to keep the dream alive. But Heart and a Handbag is um, an event that we attract a lot of women to our event. We want the men as well, but we do get a lot of women in because women love purses. We're going to have some purses that we're going to be raffling off um, as well as, you know, um, uh, gift cards to some of the great restaurants in Milwaukee like Devin's, mm -hmm. Saz's, um, uh, membership to the YMCA, so yoga classes, a little bit of something for everyone. We have a wonderful, wonderful package. It's a brewer's packet, and I think it's called the Diamond Package. Nice. So you get excellent seats, free food passes into this private area, like a VIP area. So we're really, really hoping that people will come out and support us. $60 a day is what it costs to accommodate each girl that uh, we take care of every day. And that's the admission price for one person is $60. So by, by paying your $60 to attend the event and the fundraiser, you're supporting one female mm -hmm. in our community, here in Milwaukee community, mm -hmm. uh, who is without home, between the ages of 17 to 29 mm -hmm. without yes. children and need these services. What other things, because this goes beyond just a place to sleep. Mm -hmm. Lisey's Place really supports the whole woman. Talk a little bit about the programs that you do and, and really what these women are getting through the services okay. you provide. Well, Lisey's Place is a transitional housing program for those uh, ages that you mentioned. Uh, one of the things that we do is we try to get a lot of volunteers to come in to assist us. We want to give the women hope. We want to build their self-esteem. Uh, coming into the program, they don't have much, so we try to be that support for them to help them to just become the woman, the woman that we know that they are. And by getting the funds and the different things that we need, it helps us to give them what they need, the support that they need. Mm -hmm. And you do mm -hmm. job training skills? We do job training skills. We have volunteers mostly that come in. Not only do the job training skills, we do budgeting. We talk about hygiene, how to dress for success, nutritional meals. Uh, it's just a variety of different things that we do with the ladies. Yeah, you really serve the, the whole <coughs> woman. And I think exactly. that's such an important piece mm -hmm. of it, is that you know you can, you can provide a bed. Right. But if you're not giving all the other support, how are we going to help everyone transition, exactly. as you say, exactly. into right. becoming you know, a a member of our society and really seeing success for themselves. As someone had stated to us on yesterday, we try to get them ready for, for society so that they can be those taxpayers. Mm -hmm. So given to us, <laughs> actually help us to help these women to be able to transition into society so that they can also be a giver by giving back, whether it's paying their taxes or um, just a way of providing for themselves. And what does mm -hmm. your success rate look like with the women that you work with? Success rate, I think we're, we're, pretty, we're pretty good. I would say a good 80, 85 percent. That's really good. Um, yeah, um, mm -hmm. they come, and some of the women, that, as you may know, they can stay in the program for up to two years. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, they will stay anywhere from 8 to maybe 12 months or so. But even with that, they get those things <coughs> that they need to be able to continue on their own and to mm -hmm. sustain their own apartment, uh, sustain a job. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's pretty high in that area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I just add to that one of our greatest success stories is one of our early participants when the program first began. She is now a homeowner, and she sits on our board. Really? Mm -hmm. I love it when things like that come full mm -hmm. circle and Absolutely. the people who are helping Helped yes. by a program now serve the program right. in a way that truly Absolutely. helps give right. back. Right. Right. I mean, that, I think that speaks volumes mm -hmm. for what you do, mm -hmm. and and the fact that you know that she is so successful mm -hmm. and feeling that it's that mm -hmm. good of a program yes. to help other women in the same way. So people can come out the fourth annual, and as you mentioned, that sixty dollars to attend um, provides one day of of work of the services for yes. women. Mm -hmm. And so clearly, if women are staying, you know, six months, eight months, mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. years, that money is really needed. Is this Absolutely. your main fundraiser for the year? 
Yes, mm -hmm. yes it is. We have a lot, we have several smaller ones, but this is our major fundraiser for the year indeed. Mm -hmm. yes. So people can come out, they can bid on purses. Mm -hmm. and these aren't just any purses, mm -hmm. these are mm -hmm. brand name purses, mm -hmm. some great knockoffs. Absolutely. Everything, mm -hmm. one of your favorites, which is a beautiful bright orange bag. It, and it's a Doncaster bag, and it's valued <laughs> at about $400, so the people in the community really came out and gave us some wonderful um, items for our silent auction. We have over 50 silent auction items, and then we're going to have a specific raffle for just designer bags because we know that really gets women excited. Absolutely, mm. we love our bags, that's true. <laughs> so okay, I wanna make sure everybody can come out to Heart and a Handbag, it's happening in two weeks, Tuesday, April 23rd, it's at 11.30 a.m., it goes until 1 p.m., so right over the lunch hour at the Italian Community Center. If you have any questions, you can call the number on your screen at 414-874-2560, or for ticket information and more information on the event, you can visit the website mhyh dot org for my home your home dot org. Thanks okay. so much for being Thank here you. ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. We appreciate, appreciate it. it.